you are watching this. It's Kaislin here and it is Easter break. Four days of just being by myself. I chose to stay at the dorms instead of going home because then that's 12 hours of driving in the car and I just saw my family for spring break about a week and a half ago. This is just my morning routine of what it looks like with me in the dorms by myself, which doesn't happen that often. I'm just making some cereal and getting ready to do devotionals. So if you want to do some with me, you can just keep watching. This devotional is called God the Gardener, and it brings us to 1 Corinthians 12, 18. It says, <clears throat> I usually do not read them out loud. They're just in my head when I read. God arranged the members in the body, each one of them as he chose. Flower beds on a lake house lawn require care and attention to flourish. They need fresh mulch, rich in nutrients, some sunlight, regular watering, and the weeds pulled from around them. The gardener chooses all the flower types and purposely places them in a specific area in the beds to grow in an arrangement of complementary colors and pleasing patterns. Each pocket of petals in a group adds to the overall design. It's fun to walk by gardens and point out your favorite flowers with a friend because chances are her floral taste will be different from yours. No single flower is everyone's first preference. In the same way, our unique personalities will be gifts to the people God brings around in life. We shouldn't expect to be everyone's favorite. It is more important that we be ourselves and exhibit the unique qualities God has given us than to be liked by everyone. Each of us is an irreplaceable part of God's garden. If God in the gardener is pleased with us as he prunes, waters, and brings nutrients, we gain a true understanding of who we are, valuing his view of us over others. I really like this. There's a prayer, God, I trust that you are growing and pruning me into a unique and irreplaceable part of your garden. Help me to see myself through your eyes. Amen. I like it says in our in the same way our unique personalities will be gifts to the people God brings around in life. We shouldn't expect to be everyone's favorite. I know I'm not everyone's favorite, but also knowing that the Lord has everyone as, as his favorite. Usually after I read it and I ponder a bit, I then come to my journal and then I write things that catch my eye to help me remember it. It also includes each of us as an irreplaceable part of God's garden. He prunes us. God prunes me. He waters me. He brings nutrients. What do I write? It's good. I think it'd be fun to go on a campus walk because I feel like the campus queen right now since there's literally no one here. It's such a beautiful day. It's supposed to be cloudy right now, but it's in the 50s. I also brought my elementary school digital camera from home because those are like trending right now. I remember opening this at my house when I was younger and being so ecstatic. Thank you.